know about the fire? What do you, what ideas do we have about the fire? You know, what stories do we know? Mrs. Murphy. Yeah. Close. Oh, Mrs. O'Leary. Mrs. O'Leary. Mrs. O'Leary. <laughs> yep, we yeah. share our knowledge. Yeah, Mrs. Right. O'Leary's cow. So what was that story about Mrs. O'Leary's cow? What did the cow do? Yeah, a kerosene yeah. lantern over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cow kicked over a lantern. So what do we know about the city at the time of the fire? So it's 1871 mm -hmm. Chicago. What do we know about 1870s Chicago? It's very crowded. Crowded? Still, yes. crowded? Lots of wooden buildings. Lots of wooden buildings. It's still a young city. It's a young city, so that's kind of where some of those wooden buildings come into play. How would being crowded and wooden affect a fire? It's very, easy to very easy to spread. Yeah, it's very um, combustible, for lack of a better word. <laughs> we wanted to start with our thinking about the fire and looking at two works of art that are here on display in the exhibition. And the first one is this painting right here. It was painted by a woman named Julia Lemos. Um, and then the second one is a small sketch down below here um, by a gentleman. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about him later, but he wrote, he drew sketches of the fire, okay? And we have a lot of photography of the city before the fire. You can see this panoramic view right here that showed what Chicago looked like. Um, we have a lot of photography of the city immediately after the fire and of course in the years following. There are no known um, photographs of the actual event itself. Why do you think people couldn't really take pictures during the fire? They were running away. <laughs> they were running away, right? They had a lot of other things to do. And could they just take out a cell phone like we do today and do a quick because people do, right, storm chasers today. Oh, look at that tornado. I think I'll take a picture before I get out of the way. Photography then was much more involved, okay? So art is one, it's the best way that we really have a sense of what did it look like during this event? What was happening? So you also have these images reproduced on the piece of paper that I gave you. The reason I did that is because the sketches especially are very small. I knew we'd be sharing the space with students and we're a big group ourselves. So what I'm gonna ask you to do now is choose one of these two artistic representations of the fire, either Julia Lemos's paintings or Wad's sketch, um, and use your index card, okay? What I'm gonna ask you to do on the index card is first write three descriptive words or phrases that this work of art brings to mind, okay? Your first reactions to it, but make them descriptive, words or phrases. And then I want you to write a question that it, this work of art raises for you in your mind about the fire. Chaotic. What? Chaotic. That's a great word. And where do you see that coming through in this work? I think with the, um, the covering of the smoke and then the amount of people in a small area. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, she's really depicted a crowd here. Um, and the smoke overhead, you think? Okay. What other words and phrases do people associate with this painting? Oh, pandemonium, definitely. Does it look like everyone's going in the same direction, the same way? No, so, you know, it doesn't look like there's an organized effort, particularly to, to do something, maybe. Um, so that's, that's a great way to describe that. Okay, how about the sketch, those of you who chose that? Escape. Escape, okay. Chaotic, urgent movement chaotic and urgent movement. So we've associated the word chaos with both of these works now. Okay. Sense of panic. A sense of panic also. Pandemonium and panic. It seems to be coming through both of these works for us. What else? So it shows hot. Hot. Yes. <laughs> We're talking about a fire and you're the first person to say hot, right? Um, yeah. And where do you get that sense of heat? Um, well, the flames shooting out of the building, but also uh, they had already quickly spread to the uh, wagon itself. Yeah. So I wondered about yeah. living things. Around yeah. The yeah. What's going on around that wagon? All right. What kinds of questions do these work of arts raise for people about the fire? What questions did you write? Yeah. I wrote, how did people escape the fire and what means of transportation did they use? How did people escape the fire and what means of transportation did they use? That's a great question. And we have some clues in here. Um, and, you know, it makes you wonder about the success of some of those means of transportation, too. What other questions? Because you're thinking about duration, how long did it last? It feels like there's time. Kind of represented. Mm -hmm. 
How long did it last in duration was the question we had over here. Okay. I wanted to know how did they put it out? How did they extinguish it? How was the fire put out? That's a great question. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to know if there were any primary source documents like letters or mm -hmm. anything uh, that tell the story of someone's direct experience. Yep. So are there any other primary source documents like letters or other things that would tell somebody's direct experience living through this event? Okay. Yeah. How long did it rage? How long did the fire rage? How long did that go on? Yes. So where did the people live afterwards or where did they go? Where did people live afterwards? Where did they go? Okay. Um, definitely. How did firemen combat the fire? How did firemen combat the fire? If were there firemen? Another good question, right? Okay. What was the weather like uh, leading up to and during? What was the weather like leading up to and during? Okay. So why did the art artist choose these vignettes specifically? Like, what was important to, about this place for this event? Why did the artist choose to depict these specific events, places? Okay. I was wondering if there was an evacuation plan. Did the city have an evacuation plan in 1871? Okay. All right.